Welcome to Missing Person Search Podcast. I'm the host, Trisha Barreto. I'm a psychic medium and I help to locate missing people. Today, I'm going to share some possible location insight that I have for Zelig Williams, uh, who went missing from South Carolina. So we're going to get right into it. Uh, As soon as this uh, Zelig uh, news was reporting about it, I saw an image on YouTube. And as soon as I saw that image, before I clicked on it, before I even asked anything, I just kept hearing the word lover. And that made me think of somebody in his past that was uh, a lover of his. And it's been repeated and pretty constant the whole time that uh, I've been looking at location insight for him. Um, This person feels taller than him and fit. I hear very fit. Uh, I feel that his breathing was constricted and I really like I've I've felt this before in other cases where people have um, been strangled and their breathing has been constricted but there's something like that where I feel like his throat was grabbed and like he was he couldn't breathe. Uh, there, there may be some association with a rock hitting his head cause I keep like feeling like a rock and I just feel like there's a connection to a rock hitting his head somehow. Um, I kept feeling jealousy so much when I, I, I've looked at this and before we go any further, I have to say, um, you know, when I do the, these, my whole objective is to find location insight. I, I don't get into like. The storyline, I know a lot of like missing person podcasts and true crime, they focus on like the whole story. I don't. My job is solely to focus on finding, helping to find the body um, of the missing person. And so what I kept feeling was Zelig was giving me references and spirit was giving me information that points to who did this to him. There's like, there's an overwhelming feeling that I was getting insight that was really focused on apprehending this person um, or people. I'm not clear if it's more than one person, but I feel like I kept getting information for one person. Um, Again, lover, taller, very fit. I feel like his breathing was constricted because he was being choked. Um... I feel like there was something that hit his head. Jealousy was like, I feel like the person was very jealous of him. Um, I also keep feeling water. I feel like cold water. Um, This could be a body of water. Um, Also, there's something about someone's eyebrow. I feel like this could be the person that's responsible for Zelig being missing. Like there's something, I don't know if there's a piercing, if there was a piercing or some kind of marking or some indication about an eyebrow with the person um, that's responsible for for Zelig being missing. Um, Also, I heard Jay, but I don't know if it's the name Jay spelled J-A-Y or the letter J. I also heard Jordan. Uh, I heard route, uh, there's a bank, a bay, and a river. So I don't know if bank is referring not to like a financial institution, but like a bit like a river bank. Uh, the number three, I heard the word Potomac, uh, local station, south. Uh, so south would be south of Columbia, south of where his home is is at. I just feel like I briefly looked at a map. I haven't been able to spend much time on this. I only spent a little bit of time yesterday and then today before I recorded this. Um, But I I really feel an overwhelming sense to go south of his home um, where his body would be located at. I see a cube structure, uh, a crane or like heavy equipment that would be used like on a construction site. I feel an open area, lots of like construction, outdoor machinery tools that they like they use when they're building stuff and moving dirt. Uh, Wendy's, I I don't know if that's like fast food. Uh, I saw the color red. I heard Echo Park. Uh, I saw like a 
a stack of papers and I heard the word script. Um, this feels like associated like with his work or his past work. Uh, the, I saw the color green really vividly. I heard the word juice. It kind of reminded me of like a juice bar or like juicing or just a place where you would get juice, like healthy juice. Uh, I heard cliff diving. I saw a cannon, like a big cannon that was used in like previous times in history. Um, I believe that there may be like, um, it may be a reference to like some kind of landmark with like cannons or a cannon. Uh, I felt a utility truck trail. So it would be like an off road trail, maybe for like utility trucks. I saw him. Um, I felt like he was showing me him wearing a graduation cap and gown. And I, I can't really place that, but I, it makes me like really feel like it was there somebody there at his graduation that was also graduating or was just there at his graduation. Again, I keep feeling like there's a heavy reference to the person responsible for him going missing with some of these findings. Um, Sandy Run, when I briefly looked at the map, Sandy Run really stood out to me, really was highlighted to me, that area. Uh, water with construction. I just, I feel both water and construction. Uh, I heard lose yourself. I don't know where that comes in. I feel like I was getting the word gray, but I was only hearing part of it. And I, I felt like it may be Grayson or something that sounds similar. Maybe it's a name. Maybe it's a name of a road, a location, a uh, name of a person. I, I don't know. Uh, I also feel like I was seeing like some sort of chapel, steeple, church. I wasn't sure if it was white, but I, I just feel like there's a I know there's a steeple because I, I kept hearing that little saying like when I was a kid, like here's the church, here's the steeple, open up and here are all the people. And it was like this little cute thing that kids would do with their hands. Like I kept hearing that. And so I know there's a steeple. Um, I heard sand. Uh, the number 41, I heard like a boyfriend. This goes back to referencing the person responsible uh, for him going missing. The number five, I saw that like a few times. Um, something is obstructed. This feels like the view, the vantage point, like there's some kind of something is obstructed. Uh, north of yellow tape and road closure. So what this feels like to me is whenever I guess law enforcement maybe they yellow taped an area where his car was found but and I don't know if they closed off a road or if a road was already closed in that area but I just felt like something about north of yellow tape and road closure uh sprout I heard underwater I I heard and I felt multiple times uh juice bar I think I already said something about juice I heard Zumba, uh, dirt nearby. I heard Eric Erickson. So again, I don't know if it's a name of a person, first, last name, if, or if it's a reference to a road, a place, a location. Uh, I heard main highway. I heard academy, mountain climbing, rock climbing. There's something about, I don't know if this is something he did with someone or if this is something nearby where he, where he's located at. Uh, I feel, I kept feeling like a white vehicle. I don't know what kind of vehicle, but I just feel a white vehicle. Um, water, dirt, and rocks. Again, I keep feeling like the, all of them, like water, dirt, and rocks, like is nearby where his, where he's located at. Um, the color yellow I saw, tractor trail, trailer. I heard tractor trailer and I was like, what is a tractor trailer? I had to Google it. And it's like, uh, like a semi truck, but I heard tractor trailer, uh, trees around a bend. So I feel like I'm going around a bend, maybe on a road or a path. And like, there's, it's a bend, like it, it's, um, I don't know how to explain that a bend. It just like circles off kind of, um, the letter K I keep seeing dirt and rocks with machine that scoops dirt. Um, yeah, green structure. I don't know if this is like 
a container of some sort. It just feels like a big green structure. I heard someone I used to know, um, again, in reference to who, who took him, uh, who's involved in this. Uh, I heard the word pulley, construction site, skate park, tomatoes, fashion show, uh, the letter L, I don't know if that's associated with the road. And then I heard river runs through. I can't, I just kind of feel like I didn't, I like to spend more time on looking and searching, but I really wanted to get this out there because I know his family is really desperate to find him and desperate for answers. And it's like, there's so much in the media right now. And I don't see a lot of psychic medium insight out there. So I wanted to help um, as much as I can, if I get more information, I will make another video and put it on my YouTube. The main uh, videos for my podcast, Missing Person Search Podcast, are on YouTube. I'm trying to put them on TikTok and on my Instagram as well. Um, but I, I hope that this gets to the people that are searching. That's who this is for. Um, so, you know, if you know some people that are searching law enforcement, private investigators, family, friends, uh, people in the community searching for Zelig, you know, use this and use your own intuition. You know, this is not a science when working as a psychic medium, um, trying to locate missing people is probably the hardest part because it requires precision. And because this is not a science, because, um, the insight spirit gives me is up to my interpretation. It's just, it's not easy. Okay. And so I always feel compelled to tell everybody to use your own intuition because when, if people are in spirit, you know, they're communicating with not just psychic mediums, they're communicating with their loved ones. They're communicating with the investigators, law enforcement. So you really need to be open to that and trust your intuition. If you're getting insight, write it down, share it with the people you think that it's going to be helpful to. I feel like, um, he, Zelig really was highlighting the person responsible for him going missing. And it just feels like if that person can be apprehended, then maybe the location will be given up um, where Zella could be found. Um, but it, I just felt like he was strongly like there's so much in here that highlights somebody in his past, maybe past events that the person was at, um, even physical characteristics of the person. You know, the word lover was the strongest indication to me. And it just feels like this person was in his past and this person was jealous with him and angry with him and maybe angry with choices that he was making in his life currently um, and maybe felt I just kind of I hear the words left behind. Um, he felt that person felt left behind. Um, is there anything else? Anyone in spirit can give me that will help locate Zelig. Please use your own intuition. Search, search, search. Don't give up. Um, I do feel like he's going to be found sooner or there's going to be some kind of vindication that's going to happen really soon. Uh, I hope this was useful. Again, you know, this is not a science. It's open to my own interpretation. And obviously those that are using their intuition to take my findings and interpret them the way that you that you feel intuitively to interpret them. Um, I don't know the area. I didn't. Again, I, I always like to take more time when I'm working on these cases. I don't like to rush, but I was a little bit rushed because I wanted to get this out there as soon as possible. So again, if there's more insight that comes in, I'm going to make a second video and I'll put it up on my YouTube channel, uh, Trisha Barreto. And on there, it's my missing person search podcast. And again, the whole objective is to help locate these people that are missing missing. Um, so I hope this is helpful in some kind of way, you know, share this video, uh, comment, uh, take screenshots, share it with who you think is going to be able to use it in locating Zelig Williams. Um, thank you spirit for helping me always. Thank you for those that believe 
in the work that I do that are open to it because my whole objective is to help to locate these missing people out of the care and the love that I have for them. I'm somebody that has a, a deep reverence for spirit and I work closely with spirit every day of my life both personally and professionally. And so, you know, none of this, I take it lightly. I take it very seriously. And I am, I am a guide. I am here to help. That is my whole objective. And I hope that I'm able to do that here with Zelig. Um, I'm sending lots of love and lots of prayers to Zelig's family, his mother, his loved ones, um, to the search party, everybody involved in searching. I always say, if you can um, merge the love that you have for these people with your intuition that is going to lead you to truth one way or another but you have to operate out of a place of love and intuition um, I think to get that truth Um, all right that's all that I have for now take care of yourselves and take care of each other